All right, you know what time it is. Your favorite show on the internet, Career Mode. By this guy, edited by that guy. Here, maybe I'll leave some space so he can put his head in there. Or he can flash to a full shot of himself with like 18 line quote of what he said that he only puts up for three seconds, less than three seconds. So we have no idea what he says. We have to go back and pause it. <laughs> ah, I cracked myself up. But what doesn't crack me up is some of the comments I'm seeing from you guys. And we're gonna start with Aaron. And Aaron goes, oh, he plays at center back and eight goals conceded in three games. Shut up, Aaron, with an E. Yeah, this is me. I've resorted to making fun of how you spell your name. Get off my back. But he wasn't alone. There was another, Jared T, who said, Oh, you're looking like David Louise and Socrates out there. That hurts, Jared T. That hurts my soul. And then there was James, James? G-E-I-M-Z-Z-Z. -Z -Z. Who says, you should only play as yourself. Don't play as the whole team. And then there were about five comments underneath going, yeah, that's gonna be boring as shit. And I agree, but because these other people are challenging me about how bad I am defensively, maybe I should run around as myself the whole goddamn game. Maybe that would put to rest all of this. I still feel like it would be a little bit boring. A little bit. I don't get to be a part of scoring those dope ass goals that I like scoring, but there might be something there. So for the semi-final against Atlas and the North American All-Star Trophy Cup tournament thingy, I'm gonna play only as myself and we'll see how it goes. That's me finding the midway point for you guys, right? Compromise. It's important in any relationship between me and my wife, between me and my kids, between me and the audience, okay? I'm meeting you guys halfway. All right, Atlas versus Sporting, Kansas City Wizards. This is the original kit, by the way, from the 1996 season, the first ever season of the existence of Sporting Kansas City. It's right here. Taste the rainbow, baby. Taste it. <clears throat> Play as Conrad, <laughs> you know it. All right, here we go. Derek Ray and Lee Dixon. Not on the call because I muted them. Sucks to be you, fellas. Da 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 da. All right, Conrad. Just me and you, baby. Okay, here we go. Get in that passing lane. Yo, feed the bear. The bear's hungry. The bear wants a little bit of a touch. Go on. Oh, go on, Conradinho. Do some moves. Look at the juice. Oh, that's right. Just, just play simple. Oh my god. Oh no, get back in. Get back in. Get back in. Holy crap. Jesus. I want to play as me the whole time. This sucks. <laughs> so here I'm looking at my little map. Am I in the right spot? Am I in the right spot? Am I in the right spot? That's all I'm thinking about. I mean, that's how it is in real life. Don't get me wrong. You're thinking about where you are and you got to communicate. But I can't tell these guys where to go. You know? Part of the center back position or more than part of the center back position is communication. Right now, I'm just bitching at the guys for not doing a good enough job. Go on! No. Oh, dude. What? What? What are they calling? He already shot the ball. It's way past it. And a yellow card? What is this? Listen, he already shot the ball. Look at it. He shoots it, and then I smash him. <laughs> Boo! My guy is slow as dirt. I'm not that slow. Go on. Oh, crap. 4.7, super. I'm gonna be a legend in no time. Oh no, no, come on, dude, I won the ball. No, can we switch back to me controlling the whole team? Whew, okay, so uh, first half rating time. Yeah, I don't think anybody's giving me a high five at halftime. The feedback from the manager is not good. All right, coach, thanks. Okay, good positioning, keep it going. Go on. Johnny Russell, wow, what a ball. What is this? What is this crazy stuff we got going on? I love it. Oh, I love it even some more. Getting that rating back up. <laughs> Give the guy some baby touches, just some baby touches. Let me put it into space, get my rating back up. Yes, go on. Get out of my way, you punk. Go on, put it in the mixer. Ah, oh, away from the goalkeeper. Keep it going. I can feel it here. We're scoring. We're scoring. We're scoring. This is the worst part. 
when the mistakes you make in a game are what cost you the game itself, where if you had played different, if you had made different decisions, the team maybe wouldn't have lost. You hate to be a part of it, and when I was a younger player, it was really hard for me to walk into a locker room knowing that I was the reason why we lost the game. That's a difficult thing to handle and a difficult thing to overcome. They don't teach you how to do that. They can't teach you that technique. They can't teach you that tactic. You have to live through it, and it's really hard. And it doesn't really get any easier as you get older. You just learn how to move past it, I'd say, a little bit quicker, because you've already lived through it a few times, and you know that you'll survive on the other end of it. And this is Real Talk with you really quick. Story time with Jimmy Conrad. It got so big for me, so overwhelming at times when things didn't go well. I didn't really know how to slow things down, how to really focus on the things that I had control over, which is your attitude and your performance. But even then, what, what should I do? How do I stay focused? How do I keep it together emotionally if things didn't go right, if I didn't have that great practice or that great game? So what I ended up doing was I wrote down, I wish I still had these things, and maybe I have a few somewhere, but I'd write little notes of what I want to accomplish for that day and I just try to reach those. I'd, I'd have manageable goals, goals that I probably could hit. Then I'd have ones like no turnovers today, right? Uh, try to play forward as much as possible, that type of stuff. And then to have bigger ones, you know, maybe communicating to a teammate that I was afraid to, to yell at, usually an older guy. Yelling at sounds pretty strong, but just putting him in a position to make plays. How do I communicate to him? You know, what's my energy like? How positive can I stay? If I make a mistake, don't let it affect me. Don't let it show, right? All these little things that I used to do to help me become a better pro. And it's it's always a constant work in progress. Anyway, that's story time with Jimmy Conrad. We can get more into the mental side of the game another time. Let's get into my player performance, 6.3, which is quite the recovery after the first half performance. Let's see what the boss had to say. All right, cool. I feel like he says a lot of the same stuff. It's like he's reading off note cards or something. I don't know if I'm gonna play as myself anymore. It is much, much different, but we might be doing a pro club series moving forward, and I feel like that'll have a lot of similarities. I think I want to play as a whole team. That's just me. I, I'll enjoy it more, and hopefully you guys will too. All right, on to the next one. Okay, so it looks like we are heading into match play. Let's check out those standings. Nobody has anything, but I do want to know who we play first. We play LAFC, the creme de la creme of MLS, at least this season. Transfer deadline. I'm not going to get sold, am I? One hour left, so let's see. Only Jimmy Madronda's out. Oh, I got an email. Yes! And it is uh, to let me know that the transfer deadline has been done. It's been, that's great. I was just watching it. Something fun happened as I was advancing, simulating. It was my birthday. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. You're gonna once score a goal against Mexico. Just stay patient for me. Yes. Manager has some notes for me. Let's get into it. We have some favorable fixtures coming up. Okay, I definitely have a British manager because he added a U to favorable. He expects a minimum average rating of 9.0. My British manager is on drugs. We expect one clean sheet. Expect less than one point. Yeah, I got that. He picked me in the starting lineup though. What? We can't start the season with Dick and goal. You know, I should just be happy that the manager picked me to be in the starting lineup, right? Just shut up, Conrad. Shut up. Stop bitching and just get to it. Look at, did you see Vela? I bet you he'd never hugged a dick that big before. I'm talking about the goalkeeper. Come on, your guys' mind's in the gutter, okay? We can do it. Come on, boys. Come on, Vela. Who's my left back, dude? He's speed moving all the way down the, the side. Oh no, don't let him cut back to his left. Yes, Hassler. No, get in. Yes, Conrad. Come on, come on. Just chasing right now. Let's keep everything in front of us. Conrad, header, concussion. That was one of my specialties. Yeah, I love that. Oh, I love it. We got it. That's the one. Hit it. Oh, what a save. Damn, dude. What a setup by the boys. Dude, they're under the gun right now. We have them right where we want them. Oh, that's the ball. First time it. 
Oh, that is the cheddar. No, Johnny Russell. Dude, it doesn't look any better than that. Yes. Go on, Gerso, yourself. Hit it. Ooh, what a save. There maybe could have been a little sweat there at the end. Okay. First half rating. Second half. I wonder what the boss said at halftime. A little more of the same, I bet. Oh, I just got juiced up. No, 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 no. Keeper, yes. The big D. Good. Keep it moving, baby. What is Conrad doing? What is he doing right now? Why did Conrad slow up? No! No! Oh, come on, man. Just some up, back, and through. What's the other center back doing, though? And then I tried to switch. I switched away from him, but I meant to switch with him to stay. Come on. Dick, stand up a little bit straighter. Oh, I love that. Go on. Go on. Yes, Nemeth! Get in! I didn't know for sure if he was going to get that off of his feet. I didn't know if he was going to pick a corner. God, what a big goal. Yeah, a little sunset goal. How romantic was that, LAFC? Oh, uh, crap. No! What is, what is even happening right now? What's wrong with the right side of my defense? No, get out of here. Get out of here. He, okay, that was bad defending. But he finds himself back in, and the other guy comes over and doesn't really challenge. What a joke. Oh, no. Step in. Step in. Ah, uh, for f sake, man. This is going to be a long-ass season, dude. I almost want to get a red card for some of my players because I know there's better ones on the bench that we're not playing. Final match rating, 7.0. I'm not as much of a presence as I'd like to be. The manager seems happy with me, but it's more about my passing than it is about defending. And that pisses me off. Okay, we have the Philadelphia Union. Oh, can I, I want to see my team. Who's on? Okay, we have Melia. We're not starting him. Who else? We got Beasler. His, his morale sucks. He's not playing either. We're not playing all of our best players. That doesn't make any sense. We're playing Duke, who's got 54, dude. 54 rated. Instead of playing somebody else. Instead of playing Roger Espinosa or something. Not, we're not even starting Benny Fellhaber. It doesn't make any sense to me. All right, we need to win. We need to set the tone at home. It's super important for our fans. Come on, man. Come on, Conrad. Do your thing. Yes. Good read. Go on, Gerso. You got him. You got him. You got him. Conrad! Blocking passing lanes, baby. That's what he does. Mm. Get back in. Offside. 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 Oh my god. Gosh, Conrad. Good block. Good block. Good block. Conrad's having the game of his life at the moment. Oh man, just fall. God. Ah. First half rating. I'm gonna be honest, it might be the best half I've ever had as a defender. So I'm loving that part of it. But God, we suck going forward. Wait, that's my home stadium? They don't have a track around it. What? Seven point one right now. Halftime rating seven point one. Manager feedback. Great job so far this season. Your passing has been top notch. Appreciate that, coach. 
Your reading of the game was excellent. I know. You made some key interceptions. I know I was there. Thanks, dude. All right, this guy's playing pretty good D, to be honest with you. We got him. Oh, crap. Go on. Referee! Referee! No! No! What is he calling there? He gets 100% fouled in the box. Are you sure about that? There it is. Oh, if we lose that ball, it's trouble. There he is. Hit it. Oh, handball. Ref. Are you Ref. sure about that? All right. Oh, it was a handball. Why? What? No. 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 Wow. No. It just got caught in my feet. Oh, man. It's like he, he, I was ready to make a play. Had I even switched to him yet? This has been a terrible episode. Go on. Dude, get up. Ah, oh, man. God damn it. 7.4 is my final match rating. Pretty good, all things considered. Like I said, I thought there were a lot of good plays that I made, but again, it got undone by the fact that I was somewhat responsible for the goal that they scored. That really sucks. The best part, though, about being a professional was there was always another game to look forward to, and that's what we're going to have to do for this episode. I can't wait for the next one. Later.